So let's talk about the Salesforce architecture in a little more detail. The best way to visualize the Salesforce architecture is to think of it in three layers. The foundational level on which Salesforce is built is a trusted multi-tenant cloud and everything resides in this cloud. On top of that sits the Salesforce platform. It's powered by metadata and is made up of data services, artificial intelligence and APIs for development. Apps sit right at the top and they are what we see when we use Sales Cloud, Service Cloud and other Salesforce products. They provide the powerful technology and functionality that customers love. So let's pick each of these apart one by one. Salesforce is built on a trusted multi-tenant cloud. You can view performance data and find out more about how Salesforce protects your data by heading to trust.salesforce.com. It shows any maintenance that's due to take place and that could impact your org. But what is multi-tenant architecture? Now, it sounds really complicated, but it's actually really simple. And I want you to imagine an apartment block with multiple apartments that all share the same resources. So they share the water, the power and the building maintenance. Well, this is what happens with a Salesforce instance. Each Salesforce org is an apartment in that apartment block. Everyone has the same access to resources such as computing power, data storage and the core features. And Salesforce provides a core set of services to all of the customers in the multi-tenant cloud. So no matter the size of your business, you get access to the same computing power, data storage and core features. And while you may think that this means that your data is insecure and could be shared, that isn't the case. And the best place to get information about this and about the performance data and data security is the website that we mentioned earlier, trust.salesforce.com. Salesforce keeps all of your data secure. And because of the multi-tenancy architecture, Salesforce can automatically release free upgrades a year, summer, winter, and spring. And everyone gets the latest updates and features automatically. So on top of that foundation sits the platform. And this is powered by metadata and it's made up of data services, artificial intelligence and APIs which allow for development. But what is metadata? Well, it's data about data. It's data about the structure of your Salesforce org. For example, the lead object. A lead record contains data about the lead, such as the name, the email address and the telephone number. But if we remove all that data, then all we're left with is the object, its fields, the page layouts, security settings and a couple of other things. All of this configuration is metadata. It's data about how the data should be structured. That might sound like it's really complicated to configure, but it isn't. Salesforce can easily be configured using clicks, not code. This is known as declarative customization rather than pragmatic customization, which is code based. So just to clarify, declarative customization is done with clicks, whereas pragmatic customization is done through code. Records are data. So account records, contact records, opportunity records are all data. Whereas metadata is the object, the page layouts and its fields. It's not the data that is within the field, but the field itself. Now let's talk about APIs. APIs allow different pieces of software to exchange data. They let them talk to each other and exchange information. And on top of all that sits the apps that sales cloud, service cloud, experience cloud, etc. All these apps sit on top and they provide a powerful, easy to use solution for Salesforce customers. But it's not just Salesforce products that create the customer 360. The Salesforce app exchange has a wide range of apps and add-ons from partners and other trailblazers that might help strengthen that offering. So what is the app exchange? Well, the app exchange is Salesforce's version of the Apple app store or Google's play store. It's a marketplace where Salesforce and third parties can offer add-on apps to extend the functionality of Salesforce. If there's something that Salesforce doesn't do out of the box, then there's probably an app for it. And there's five types of solutions on the app exchange. You have apps, bolt solutions, flow solutions, lightning data and components. You can download managed and unmanaged packages as well as native and non-native solutions. So let's take a look at the app exchange. So here we are on the app exchange. And if we go to solutions by type, you can see the five types that we have. Apps help you expand the functionality of Salesforce. So it could be accounting app, uh, reports and dashboards, duplicate management solutions, recruiting solutions, etc. 
there's hundreds to choose from. Bolt solutions are pre-built templates that allow you to build experienced sites quicker. Flow solutions are pre-built flows and lightning data can be used to help enrich the data in your org. And then we have components which can be used on lightning app pages and they require no coding or development from your site. So let's open up an app and see what information we're given. So we're just going to go to the apps there and then we're just going to open up the Salesforce adoption dashboards. So as you can see, we have a screenshot of the app itself and we also have the cost, the rating, the categories and the latest release date. And we also get a brief synopsis about the app itself as well. Underneath, we can see more detailed information. So we can see any of the highlights, we can see a description and we can also see any more technical information that we might want as well. And then if we click on reviews, we're even able to see other users and other Salesforce customers views or reviews of this app itself. A golden rule to always follow is to never download a package straight into production. Always install it into a sandbox first. And when it comes to packages, there are two types. There are managed packages and unmanaged packages. Managed packages are created and supported by vendors and they're usually locked and don't allow much customization, if any. Vendors use managed packages to sell their apps and to charge subscriptions or one-off fees. It is the vendor's responsibility to upgrade and support them as Salesforce goes through its releases. Unmanaged packages are not locked and they can be customized, but they're not supported or upgraded by the vendor. However, you can see all of the components. So when it comes to packages, they consist of a couple of things. Usually you have objects, fields, Apex code, tabs, reports, and then any automations such as flows. And when we're talking about Salesforce apps, it's useful to differentiate between native apps and non-native apps. A native app is one that is built on the Salesforce platform and it's independent of any external forces. In fact, when you use native apps, it's difficult to actually tell where that app ends and where Salesforce begins. They provide a seamless transition between out-of-the-box Salesforce and the app. Native apps are always the best choice if you can.